those that read, they'll probably understand what I'm talking about. Like right now I'm reading, this is not a new book. This is The Hunger Game. It was gifted to me a long time ago. And I'm reading it and I'm walking down the street and doing my thing on the sidewalk. And then I get to a place where I have to pay attention to the road. And I know it's coming, I see it coming, and I'm paying attention. It looked like all of the cars that were driving on the road were suddenly looking at me like, is he going to be stopping? Is he paying attention? Because each one of them like got really, really cautious. Great, awesome, people are paying attention. But at the same time, this is so much like the rest of the world just walking, doing their thing normally, and then seeing someone on their phone staring at it like a fucking animal. The entire time, I'm just reading a few words, and I'm looking up, reading a few words, looking up, reading a few words, looking up. This is what I'm doing. But the rest of the world does this with phones, and then, it's sort of that same don't text and drive slash don't read and walk. <laughs> Is that even a thing? Was it a thing? When books were really becoming a thing, where, where books became this forefront because people knew how to read, was that how people without phones, because we didn't have phones back then, looked at them and said, what's with these people that have books in their hands and are walking down the street? What is their problem? They're in their own fantasy world all the time. Reading was power, essentially. It really taught you something and you learned from it. At the same time, we're looking at people with phones and we're just assuming that they're in their own stupid fantasy world at the same time. They're kind of learning something about the world around them, the people they know. They're constantly on the excess of knowledge intake as best they can do. And the phone gives them the greatest access to it as they walk down the street. Because you should really fear the guy with the book in his hand, for he is a terror to us all, I promise you. He'll be the death of himself and the cause of so many problems as he walks down the street with it. I don't know. I don't know where this is going, but uh, that's it.